Mantua finally pieced out. Power bleeding tire. Oh, hello! Yeah, there's a reason I like to keep my uh, tradition high. Reasons like this 6634 general. In fact, what I should do is take a look for my elites. 553. Five, so let's make you the 6634. And then I want the other Saxon army, or Strelsky army. 5-5. Five, five. And Zach Barnett is the one without a leader now. There you go. Done. Horrible plague in Lithuania. Try to contain it. And there it is. The end of the war. Brandenburg gets... Wait. They're giving up land to Denmark? The ones that they just annihilated? Brandenburg lost. Oh. Right. We'll end their overlordship over Sweden. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. I didn't particularly fancy Brandenburg taking these territories. So, how is absolutism looking? Maxed. How is autonomy looking? Yeah, it's a lot more available now. How many states can I make? Five more. Okay, let's make five more states. Where's Kama? Where's Akara? There's Kama and there's Kara. Minsk will be free! Oh yeah, there was a um, trailer put out for the new Metro game coming out. Um, they put it up on Steam. And I could have sworn the narrator in that sounds exactly like Minsk. Did Aragorn take a chunk of Crimea? Uh, yeah, I took this. Ah, right, yes, as I make states, I need to do things, so Galich is going to be next. Galich, Crimea, Ishim, Vladimir. Vladimir, that's one of them. Crimea is one. Galich and Ishim. Ishim was one. And then Galich. Where are ya? So many territories now. So as of Dharma, I don't think you'd be able to do games like this anymore because you'll get a um, corruption penalty for going too f or having too many territories versus states. And the amount of corruption you would be gaining would be ridiculous. So I'm doing this just in time. Did France grow? Um, yeah, I feel like they took this. I don't think England's lost anything, except maybe here. Not sure. Unsuitable recruits, since we felt it necessary to tighten up the quality standards in our army. A whole host of recruits have regrettably been declared unfit for duty, so we're back down to zero. Awesome. Bunch of people rise up. Burgas and Constantinople. Oh well, let's go murder them. Right, and estates are like, yo, give me land. Both of them. <sighs> and the other thing I need to do actually is call this stuff. We're actually out of admin. Crikey. That can go to one of them. That can be Schlachter. That can be clergy. Still want more. Uh, I mean, technically, this should be Burkers. Clergy. Just to keep you quiet. Uh, same thing. Schlachter. There we go. 
Problem solved. Oh, for Pete's sake. <laughs> Stop calling me into these ridiculous wars of absolutely zero consequence. You asked me that earlier and I gave you quite a long uh, answer as to why no. Because I'm still doing Western Rome and I feel like I'll be burnt out having done so much Rome. So I'll probably do one of the other nations. But Western Rome will be on after this, this evening, so at 10 o'clock. So in uh, an hour and 20 minutes. Depending on how long it takes me to get my food. Oh, looming disaster. Court and country. I... This is one you actually want to have fire, isn't it? This is like one of the weird ones. It has massive negatives, but once you're over it, then your absolutism maximum is raised. Stability is still really low. Corruption still going up because of overextent. They actually took Riga. Wow, that was surprising. Take it back then. It's gonna have a garrison of like three. Oh, no, two hundred and twenty. I would like to build more production buildings, please. Because the amount of money I'm making from these is ridiculous. Thank you. Everyone just hates on me if I try to claim any territory. I don't understand the game. You need to be careful how and when you expand. So if you have a lot of what's called aggressive expansion, uh, which you can see from the coalitions map mode, then anyone with more than 50 aggressive expansion is likely to join a coalition against you and then basically stomp on you. Um, so, as long as you expand and keep that in mind, then you'll be okay. The other one to consider is I would not recommend doing your first game in the Holy Roman Empire because there are all kinds of other rules about expansion. Like, if you take any territories and don't have a core on it, then people are going to hate you and you'll get some really heavy penalties. I would strongly recommend you play as France in your first game. Um, because that will kind of let you learn how everything works. And if you do overextend a bit too much, it's not a huge problem because you can probably survive one war, as long as you don't go completely crazy and, like, take the whole of Italy. you you just got to be careful. So when you're making a peace deal, down here, it shows you what uh, results it has. So here, it so shows you your overextension. Do not ever, ever let that go, to, go over 100%. Even if you're as massive as me, you will notice... I never go over 100. I always keep an eye on that number. Because if it goes over 100, then your army is... Then, are, no, then your nation is just going to start collapsing in uh, rebels and economic problems and inflation. And yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not nice to see. Don't do it ever. The other one, which I was just talking about, which is aggressive expansion, is this one. And it will tell you who you are pissing off and how much. And if you see any names appearing there... So if I say, yeah, I want to take... All of this stuff. You'll see it says Gazamuk, Ottomans, and Austria. Those three are then eligible to join a coalition against you. And once you start getting really big names in there, it's a big, 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 big problem. So just go careful. This is a long term game. Like, you need to think ahead. Take a little bit now, then wait a while, let people's aggressive expansion drop, because it will over time, and then do it again and attack somebody else, grow a bit bigger, grow a bit bigger, grow a bit bigger. Like, I did not grow to be this size overnight. It's 1705. Like, it's, it's taken me a while. But it's definitely possible. Alright, you took that out. Let's go take on the Norwegian army. And I am going to be getting a lot of uprisings. Monster is out. What is my participation here? Twenty percent. Yeah, I haven't exactly done nothing, which is what I usually do. 
Oh, they're fighting me. That's a mistake, Norway. Actually, no, it's not. Oh, right, I never raised my maintenance. Whoops. Alright, well played, Norway. Well played. <laughs> Won't let you do that again, though. So I'm still really, 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 really low on manpower. How did Norway that get that big? Because Brandenburg have been continually picking on Sweden and Denmark. And they basically just took anything that Brandenburg didn't. But Brandenburg's now picking on them, so I think it's about to end. I didn't really stomp on Sweden. I've not had much to do with them. I really would say that most of that stuff has been Brandenburg, not me. Another conversion, do that. I'm losing money. Oh, you know what? Stability, please. I should have pressed go to there because I don't know where this is going to be. That's a long way away from anything. Actually, it's not terrible. What I think I am going to do is I'm going to build a fort here. I'm tired of them just trampling all over me whenever they want to. And then I'm going to reduce maintenance. Blink. Another thing, don't be quite so blasé about reducing maintenance. I'm only doing that because my army is ridiculously strong. Normally you want to be fighting with everything you have. That's Norway out. Oh, this is actually against Denmark. So Norway will cede Elfsborg to Brandenburg, so they just took another fort. Pay 800 ducats, of which I get 100. Nice. And then it's just Denmark, so yeah. Oh, Brandenburg had better not be taking this bit over. Well, I'm not going to give them possession, so it doesn't matter either way. Core provinces. Good. Let's make sure that these get cored as well. Perfect. And that should increase my force limit, so I can now maintain a bigger army, which means I'm no longer over my force limit, which means I'm now making money. Parfait. I've had so much fun in the game already, and also aware that you're only scratching the surface of the game's complexity, not a bad place to be. Yeah. And there really is a lot to do. And the great thing is, depending on what country you play as, you can focus on what you want to do. You, you don't have to understand and do everything. Which is why I always recommend playing as France, because then you can choose what you want to do and where you want to focus. We are having a lot of uprisings, and this isn't even the, um... We, even had, we haven't even had our um, disaster yet. Wait, did that reset? That reset, why? One of the following must be true. Stability at least three. Unrest lower than one. Ah. Yeah, my unrest probably went below one. So I'm actually going to do that so the unrest doesn't go below one because I want this to fire. So I will be fighting a lot of rebellions right now. Am I reducing corruption at all? Nope. I've heard them, Spain, Portugal, of course, who went to England because they have no imagination. England's a good choice, but they can be a little bit iffy in the beginning. Like, once you've established a fleet that can take on anyone else's, then yes, England's a good choice. But that can sometimes be difficult to achieve. Because early on, France is stronger than you. 
especially depending on what alliances they can make. And then if you let someone get a toehold in England, <laughs> yeah, good luck rooting them out. And also Scotland is a lot stronger than they used to be, so Scotland can legit be a, a threat. But after that point, you just hide in your island, and as long as you maintain that navy, it doesn't matter if you declare a ridiculous war of ridiculousness. They can't touch you. That's a lot of rebels. Right, seriously, where are my armies? And why don't you have a general? Of course, three of them are being used up over there. There are... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab everyone in this area. One's going to go there. One's going to go there. One's going to go here. One's going to go here. One's going to go here. One's going to go in the middle. Honestly, you can wipe Spain with France early. You can... But that's difficult because Spain gets their morale bonus earlier than France does. So, again... Be careful. It's possible, but be careful. You will have the bigger army, generally. That's the war against Denmark over. Huzzah. Denmark will be... Denmark will see Gotland blecking to Brandenburg. Ah, they gave me the land. Good. Denmark will be forced to give income. Denmark will be... We'll see Liftland to the Commonwealth. Which is the last of the provinces I wanted. Fine. Right, I'm not at war. Hey, Pope. I believe you have something of mine. I want, really? Okay. I can fix that. Who is the biggest power? That would like to be my ally. France. Arag Aragon would. Andalusia. Yeah, this has got to be Aragon or Andalusia. Aragon would be a lot more useful in European encounters. They are, however, rivals with Andalusia. Who's stronger in terms of military? Andalusia, 86,000. Aragon, 66. Andalusia does have more. Naval power, Andalusia. Okay, so Andalusia is actually probably the better choice. Much higher force limit. They've actually been investing in heavies. All right, we'll go with Andalusia then. So, how would you like an alliance, buddy? Yeah, I thought you might. Then I am going to here. Diplomats. I need a free diplomat. Will do. Did the AI do it, or did I help them? I've done nothing in Europe, so that was entirely them. Oh wow, Brandenburg were actually on the verge of breaking the alliance with me. Neighboring heretic religion, Cossack raids, aggressive expansion, okay. Glad I checked that. Royal marriage, absolutely. Alright, so, considering differing qualities of alliances now, still not, really? He's saying I need yet another ally. Now, I'm allied with Brandenburg and Andalusia, like how much more scary do you want me to be? Who are you allied with? Actually, I do have another thing I can do to you. How about you go ahead and break that alliance? No, still not. You you actually want me to go and crush you. Because 
I will. And then you're going to be losing a lot more than one province. Alright. Your choice. I'll devote two units to this war. My advisor died. That is a clergy advisor. I will take the Inquisitor. Oh no, that's going to be Revolt Wrist. No, it's not. It's Conversion. No, it is. Hang on. It's that guy. Whom I cannot yet afford to upgrade. All in good time. New colony. Glorious. In fact, two new colonies. Whoops. I've been slacking. Send one there. And once that one's sent, we'll send one... One of these. Hmm. I wonder, if I can't see adjacent to this stuff, what's going to happen then? Another stab drop. Oh, Regency. Right, because my 60-odd-year-old emperor died. Am I going to culture switch and form Russia or am I just staying as the Commonwealth? I'm staying as the Commonwealth. That's so ridiculous. And you guys seem to be taking attrition. Why? Disaster. Stopped again. Oh, uh, you have to be at war when that fires. Interesting. Well, this is going to be a war against Britain, so that's probably going to last a while. Uh, Brandenburg would join Liège and Naples. I should probably actually pay my troops for this one. How far away can you be? 100 days until you arrive. Another conversion. War further. And now Looming Disaster is building up again. Now it's going up by plus four. Because I don't have stability one. There goes the Neapolitan Navy. Dead. Glorious. That's all that taken. One there, one there. There's the Papal Army. Alright, I really need to just have a smaller army to deal with this. Losing three full stacks is silly. Um, so we're just going to build stacks of like three men. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Goes over my force limit again, but it's only by a bit. There are any infantry. And then I can get these three to leave once those are built. Prestige or Diplo? What is it? Prestige, I'm actually... Below 50! Unacceptable. Right, let's take some forts. Three of you there. One of you there. One of you there. Right, 
coming back around. So be it. I'm gonna have three more full military stacks coming down again in a minute, so no 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 no. Siege of Urbino, 76 days. A modern western fort fell in 76 days and I haven't really invested in... Actually, I have offensive ideas, so that's not surprising. Still, that was quick. Yeah, so they're retaking those, but that's fine. It's just a distraction. Kasimov, gonna kill them. One, two of you here. You three here. Alright, so the big armies are now doing their bit. So we can leave with you. And bring you down to fight the main fight. Down here. It's going to take you a while. You are, after all, in Tiberia right now. But that's fine. It's accepted. I would like to build some buildings. Of a production nature. Ludmila Voina, always knowing the right questions to ask. Ludmila Voina strikes fear into the hearts of those who would spy upon us. Ludmila Voina's presence alone is enough to plant the seed of failure before the mission's even begun. Gain 50 prestige, gain stability. Considering I'm low in stability, I will take that. Although, that has just slowed you down. Innovation wave. Reduction in cost for all technology. I accept. Knight's Navy is still murderizing everything. Really quite impressively. Urbanization. Ah. Fine. Development's always worth the price of a loan. Oh wow, they beat me. How far are you running? Far enough. And the various stacks that I sent are still on their way. And you have arrived, you can be recalled. And... Place there. No colony or not. You can go there. Good. Let's go take over the rest of this, then we can return to Lyca and Istria. Istria. Okay, so we control all of the territories in their homeland area. Another loss. These guys are really inflicting it on me. Cool. A challenge. Anyway, we're going to end on that. So thank you everyone for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, then be sure to hit that follow button so you get notifications when I'm live again in the future, like Slater did. Thank you very much for your follow, Slater. If you want to support the channel in other ways, check out my Patreon, which you can find at patreon.com slash mordredviking or of course you can subscribe right here on Twitch. Anything that you can do really does help support this and lets me do more of this type of content. If you want to... Uh, see the beginning of this series or any of my other series because there is a lot of Europa Universalis up there. Uh, you can find that at youtube.com slash mordredviking where yesterday I hit 9,000 subscribers. Huzzah! Yay, it's growing. Um, then finally I have a Discord which you can find here at this link. That is where I tend to announce what I am streaming and when. It's also where the community hangs out. They're a very cool bunch so if you have any questions about what's been going on here, uh, if you need any tips or advice or anything like that, then they're extremely knowledgeable because we all play this type of game. Uh, so any 
thing that you want to ask there and just if you want to come and hang out that would be great and then yeah cool I'm a cafe thank you very much for the follow uh, you were asking earlier what other DLCs and expansions I would recommend I would recommend that you check out the list of them on their wiki hang on I'll find you the link for DLC guide and this will give you a breakdown of what each one does then you can kind of pick and choose from that as to what you are interested in uh, the ones which I would say are an absolute must. Uh, Art of War was a big one. Cossacks, though that's less important now that they're making estates free. El Dorado for the... Um, El Dorado is moderate. Yeah, if you're doing a lot of colonization. Where's the one that does um, development? Common sense. Common sense is probably the big one. Because then you get access to the development system and that is kind of huge. Anyway, that is it for me for now. I will be back in about an hour, depending on how long it takes me to get my food, where I will be doing some of the Total War Attila game, where we are continuing the game with Western Roman Empire. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye.